the initial how we came up with Rush of Blood was when we started experimenting with with VR, we looked at what people were saying don't do. And so one of the sort of really early messages about VR was just make the player static, just allow them to look around and don't do anything, don't accelerate, decelerate, do fast movement. So we started experimenting in how to do a roller coaster really, really well in VR. The idea started to morph of adding shooting, so you're sort of literally on rail shooter. And then when we started to think about, okay, well, what was the setting, we were, probably six, eight months away from the um, completion of Until Dawn. So we said, okay, well look, there's, there's this huge world, it's amazing. Um, and so we came up with the idea of actually setting the game inside the mind of one of the characters from Until Dawn. You know, there's, there's a story there and it's a self-contained storyline. If you understand what Until Dawn, you'll immediately start to pick up on the cues, the locations, the characters. But fundamentally, it works brilliantly as just this sort of really crazy, freaky fairground ride. There was a lot of unknowns, really. VR is really new for us. I think it's, it's new for everyone. Figuring out what is scariest in VR was a challenge. I think scares are all about anticipation. It's this kind of contract you have with the player. It's like, you probably know something's going to happen, but you don't know when, you don't know what it's going to be. There are sort of three traditional sort of archetypes of reactions. There's the, I'm just scared. The, oh my God, no, get it away from me. <laughs> then there's the swearer. You, you see them mumbling under their breath and swearing at the television because they, they didn't want to get caught out. Oh my God. Oh, thank God. And the third person is, is the completely cool person who just sits there and you watch them and they don't react. And then generally what's weird is they take it off and they go, that was amazing. There are three aspects of horror. There's, um, there's terror, which is the impending feeling of doom. When you're, the hairs on the back of your neck start to go up. And there's the horror, which is the moment of, you know, on a, on a surprise or a jump scare, is that moment of, oh God, and, and you, you get shocked by something. And then there's disgust, which is the gore and things like that. And VR gives us some incredible tools to build up terror, in which case that makes it more likely that we get you with the horror and it allows us to do a little bit more with the disgust. Oh, what is that? So why should you be excited about Russia Blood? We really, really designed it specifically for VR. This isn't uh, a bolt-on thing. We designed it from the ground up to take advantage of PlayStation VR. It's an incredible roller coaster ride into horror from the team that brought you until dawn. PS4 for the players.